Can you see the hit? Stay tuned. Arena, next. Two teams converge, but only one will emerge. It's time to find out who's got the stuff of champions on another episode of... Arena! Welcome, and this is Arena, the show that turns multiplayer games into competitive sports. I'm Lee Rayburn, your host, and we've got two teams that are about to go to battle in pursuit of digital domination. Today, we'll get the adrenaline pumping on the console with F-Zero GX. Then we'll go over to the PC with Unreal Tournament 2003. Finally, we'll wrap things up with America's Army Special Forces, which we will play on Atlantis Cyberspace's virtual reality pods. But before we get started, let's go to Kevin Pereira, who will explain the law of Arena. Thanks, Lee. And here on Arena, there are nine possible points to be won. The console game is worth a point, while each PC game is worth two. Now, the team with the highest accumulated score will also pick up a point. And finally, the team with the MVP will rack up an additional three points. And those good citizens are the new laws here in Arena. Now, let's check in with Stacey Barcelata for our player introductions. Thank you, Kevin. On the last episode of Arena, Team Minority's dominance in Unreal Tournament 2003 carried them to a third consecutive victory. Today, they're going for their fourth win in a row, but Team Kaizen is looking to end the streak. Here they are. I'm a Nick. Uh, I used to watch anime, so I got that from Eska Escafone. Right now, I'm a junior at San Diego State University. Pretty much play video games and party. I throw a lot of parties at my house, go around, party around stays, go to some frats. I was going to join a frat, but I quit that because it turned out to be kind of lame because it was a pretty shit frat. Everybody when I was little called me Mac. So, bro, short from a keck. We hang out and land a lot, play games together, that's about it. I play video games instead of watching TV, pretty much. It's my entertainment. I'm all about the offense. I like killing people. When I used to be in wrestling, I got Ringworm, and the three other team members were supposed to be Mac, Infinite, and Eska. Infinite couldn't make it because he's playing in Korea for the World Cyber Games, but he just lost it. I probably spend more time on my computer and at the arcades than I do in the classroom. Unreal Tournament is really fast-paced, frag shooting, and then America's Army is actually almost like Ghost Recon, where it's one-shot kills. We already just took out G4 staff. We're just going to take you guys next. My teammates I went to high school with, and I've been friends with them for probably like five years, and we've been gaming at local LAN places mostly. Pav, he's my current roommate. I live with him, and we game every night. I like to play Capture the Flag as much as I can. Cameron brought me to video games, and after that, it's just it's been golden. Actually, we play different games. Like, I'm more into like DoD, like more realistic. Cameron's more fast paced, like Tribes. Goals to win, to kick some ass. My relationship with Unreal Tournament hasn't really been a relationship. I sort of played it on and off. Oh, America's Army. It's a great game. I like a realistic game more than a, oh, I can shoot you a thousand times and you won't go down. I know the team by um, my brother um, and two of his friends. They're my friends too. We don't usually play other teams, but uh, yeah, if you get it to go, we're usually like, oh, no, I'm better this, no, I'm better that. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Hope we win. All right, we're starting things off here in the console pit, where all four players from each team will get a chance to make a difference as they'll each take a turn at the game. Today's game is F-Zero GX on the Nintendo GameCube. Now, F-Zero is a racing game directly from the future where excessive speed and enhanced power-ups are the name of the game, so don't blink or you'll end up sucking exhaust. One. And Kaizen, the newcomer challenger, will be in red with Minority in blue. Eska for Kaizen and Wild Arms for Minority. That's right, Lee, right out of the chute. Wild Arms off to a strong lead here, hitting every single turbo pad. Hasn't touched a single wall yet, Lee. He has not missed a single speed boost. He is full on energy, and in a moment here, he'll be crossing the finish line. Usually in the POV of the challenger, you can see the leader in front of him, not in this race, as Wild Arms pulls away. And there it is, Minority takes round one. And that was a spank. Two. He's starting round two with our champion, Minority, having taken round one. It's zero limits for Minority. And it's Mac for Kaizen. Again, Minority in blue, Kaizen in red. And Mac taking a page out of Eska's book, Lee. Before the match, we saw them customizing their racer. Going for speed over balance. We'll see if it helps him here. Didn't seem to help his buddy last round. But he's gotten out to a brief lead. Here has Mac, the challenger, hoping to state their claim. And Zero Limits cuts his speed down to zero momentarily while slamming into a wall, but he's back on track now. Zero Limits in hot pursuit. Got a crash. But Mac holding on to that lead. Mac with a solid finish takes round two. Three. 
and counting down to round three, for Minority it will be Cool Spot, and for Kaizen, it will be Out Phase, and the red car is out to a quick lead. And a little bit of friendly contact there, Lee, as Cool Spot gives Out Phase a little nudge. But now Out Phase has taken over, is now, although hitting some a rough patch there, but then... And Cool Spot pulls ahead. Goes back into first place. Excellent overtake by Cool Spot, taking advantage of Out Phase's piss poor driving. Do something. This round three is anybody's game so far. Cool Spot running into a little trouble there on the turn. Let's see if Out Phase can capitalize here. Not a whole lot of track left, Lee. You better make a move quick, and not quick enough. Whoa. It's Cool Spot, the captain, victorious. Four. And round four will either determine Minority as the winner or send us into a tiebreaker. Magic Stick in the blue car for Minority and Ringworm in the red car for Kaizen. Don't turn too much into the wall. And Magic Stick out to a quick lead, Kevin. That's right, Lee, but Ringworm for Team Kaizen he did customize his racer for max speed. And Magic Stick bounces around, and Kaizen could take advantage of that right here, hitting the acceleration pad. He's catching up on him, Lee. And there it is. Ringworm overtakes Magic Stick. He came, he conquered, and now in red for Kaizen Ringworm. Flying down the track like a greased weasel, Ringworm. And it looks like we are going into Magic sudden death, Lee. Aye. And our tiebreaker will determine the winner here with Mac for the challenger in red and with Wild Arms in blue, and he's out to an early lead. Perfect, dude, that's perfect. I am on the edge of my seat, Lee. We could see a first right here. Minority has yet to take a console game and in each one of their arena appearances. But with Wild Arms in first place, they may be on the verge. And Mac bumping into the corners there. Oh, getting knocked around. There we go, baby. Oh, there baby. There we go. Mac is not going to be able to catch up with this much time left, Lee. This, is, this one's all Wild Arms. And there it is. And the console game goes to our defending champion. And what a disappointing maiden voyage for Kaizen. They come in here thinking they got a great chance to lose the tiebreak. That's right, Lee. And I think it's because Team Minority customized their rides for acceleration, which helps when you bump those turns. And Stacy's with a wild man, Wild Arms. I'm with Wild Arms. You had the fastest time on the console round. How'd you do it? Uh, I ran a perfect race. Um, watched the sides, got all the boosts, and it went all well. Now, it's your fourth time on Arena. You've yet to win a console round. This is your first time. Are you worried it's going to throw off the rest of your game playing? Yeah, I'm a little worried it's going to throw us because it's sort of tradition. We lose the first and then win everything else. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, yes, we will. We'll see how it all turns out. Lee, back to you. He's wild. He's crazy. And somebody stopped the presses because Team Minority has broken its console curse. But does that mean they've jinxed themselves for Unreal Tournament 2003? We'll find that out in a minute. And later, we'll see if they can complete their mission in America's Army. That's all coming up right here on Arena. Welcome back, everyone, to Arena. Now, before the break, Minority and Kaizen had to go to sudden death to determine a console winner, and Minority finally has a lead going into Unreal Tournament 2003. Let's see if they can keep that lead going or if they'll lose it. Let's go to Kevin in the PC ring. Thank you very much, Lee. Yes, the game we're playing is Unreal Tournament 2003, and the mode is Capture the Flag. Today, we're playing Elect Fields, where the static towers of the Mark and Flow stand majestically above Purgatory, where one false move will drop you straight into hell. What? And round one is underway in Unreal Tournament 2003. And Minority going in here with a lead, Kevin. Let's see how they fare. It might throw them off. I was watching these guys during practice, and Team Minority was playing a lot more D than we're used to seeing. Mac of Kaizen grabs the blue flag and is immediately dispensed of with some of that D that you spoke of, Kevin. Lee, I actually think he was taken out by some friendly fire that time. I got it. I got it. At the same moment, Cool Spot was over there grabbing his team's flag. Cool Spot has a red flag. We've seen that many times and here. And look at Cool Spot with that minigun, quad damage, and flag in hand. Attempting to capture that flag. Cool Spot plants one, making this a 1-0 game here. Mac for Team Kaizen with the flag using that shield gun. Where's that double? Picks up a quad damage and switches to the shock rifle. Takes down a member of Team Minority and now he's making his way back, Lee. And this is one of the longest periods of time we've ever seen anyone have the flag against Minority. Oh, and serves up a combo meal with that shock rifle but unfortunately goes down. They're not even pushing though. I think they're just stacking their base. More life out of Kaizen than we've seen out of many of the opponents against Minority. Everybody D up! Everybody D! Everybody D! And fantastic defense by minority. They know what it takes to defend their flag. And there's Eska for Team Kaizen with the flag, Lee. I don't know how much time he has, but... You better hustle. I'm still at their base, son, dude. Hey, kill that dude, Alphys. He's taking his time to do battle instead of just hustling to the flag. He's just standing in place with a shield gun, and he pays for it, Lee, dropping the flag. Got him, got him. Keep flag home. That'll just about do it as time runs down. There we go. Woo, that is how it's done. Two. And round two underway, the defending champions, minority. One flag capture was enough to win it last round. 
Out phase, picks up the quad damage and tries to chase down Cool Spot, who has his flag. Cool Spot gets taken out. Uh, defense is the best offense. Lee, if you keep saying things like that, we're going to be into overtime. You know how we all feel about that. Guy right side, middle, up the middle. Excellent communication from Minority as they spot an intruder in their base. And Mac is tap dancing around the enemy flag, trying to take out Minority's defender. Decides it'd be better to just grab it and run, and unfortunately he grabs it and moonwalks right off the map. Cool Spot grabs a flag, but coming under heavy fire, goes down. Keep getting yeah. regroup. We just gotta keep trying. Wild Arms on Minority back to defend his flag and Lee. And in overtime we go. Magic Stick from Minority grabs a red flag. It's sudden death. Minority sudden goes death down. Is what Magic Stick got. Dude, they are freaking got good. Armor. Mac with the flag for his team. Quad damage and a mini gun in hand. Slipping slides in the rain and bleeds green, dropping the flag. Cool, cool spot, spot for Minority has a flag. But he is taking fire. And he goes down. Mac for Kaizen. Taking a shot at the title. He's got an enemy from Team Minority on him, too, now. And he goes down, and this game is going nowhere fast. Reminds me of two 19th century prize fighters when they used to fight 50 rounds. Yeah, I can't do this alone. How many times I gotta tell you that? The first time any of these gamers have been able to last this long in anything, Lee. Cool spot for Team Minority grabs a flag, but guess what happened shortly after that, Lee? He died. God almighty. For Kaiser, it's Mac. Arena host trying to sound excited about it. Out comes certain. For the love of God! You are now in hour three of Arena. For Minority, cool spot. Grabs a flag. Got it. Go. Magic stick for Minority dropping the flag bearer for Team Kaizen. As cool spot making a run, he's getting shot with rockets and he goes down. The flag is returned. The team becoming a factor for players and or on camera host. Can we call it a draw and switch maps? As Mac takes down a member of Team Minority, he's making his way, he's got double damage, he dodges a rocket, uses the adrenaline power up, he's regenerating on the way back to the base. My fingers are crossed for this I need help, I need help, I need help. Zero limits for Minority, grabs the oh, red flag. Which means that Mac for Kaizen will not be able to score. Story of his life, Lee. Oh, pick up the flag! Oh, but Zero Limits goes down. Oh, but Cool, cool Spot, Spot is there to pick it up. it up. Oh, thank you so much, Cool Spot. Mac for Kaizen, Cool Spot for Minority. We've been here a week. Somebody placed the flag for crying out loud. Mac for Kaizen goes down, dropping his flag, but his teammate is there to pick it up. Mac, guard real quick. Eska has the flag. He is taking damage though, using his shield gun, and he goes down. Cool oh, spot has a cool chance of that shit! Yeah! Yeah! Three. And round three is underway after that marathon round of round two that went 26 minutes. Kevin Minority pulled one out, and I don't know about you, but I've had enough. This one goes into overtime. I'm gonna get a show on the Food Network. Let's make it an hour's time. And Magic Stick from Minority grabs the flag. And unfortunately, he gets taken out right away. We're in for a repeat of last round, Lee. Oh, Coming up left side, left side, left side. Out phase with the flag for Kaizen. And you notice a team member in the distance there to draw the fire and escort him, but oh, Out phase does not notice the minigun. Hey, Lee, guess the score here early in uh, round three. I think it's a goose egg to goose egg. Just get ready to go in overtime, dude. Magic Stick weasels his way in, grabbing the flag, and he gets taken out faster than a California governor. As Ringworm for Kaizen steps it up, we are in overtime, and he is off the map. And if history is any guide for us today, Cool Spot will go down in maybe one, two. Cool Spot broke his personal best record, Lee. You're all right. Four seconds with that flag. Eska for Kaizen. Pops a member of Minority with the rocket and grabs the flag, Lee. He stands a chance, at least for the next few seconds, as a member of Minority rounds the corner, minigun in hand, and mows him down. Defensive battle for those scoring at home. Oh, a lot of these MVP points are being racked up. Cool Spot grabs a flag, moves toward the base, loses his ass. That yeah, quad damage is ownage. Someone, dear goodness, please score a point so we can go home. Eska for Kaizen grabs the blue flag, making the way back toward the base. Eska doing an excellent job dodging that fire. Takes a little damage there, leaps under the rail Tony Hawk style and gets taken out. Unreal tournament style. As Mac picks up the slot, grabbing the blue flag. Defense, defense, defense. And the red flag for Magic Stick. Probably not for long, but cross your fingers, kitties. Mac for Kaizen using the Adrenaline power up, he's got speed. Dude, oh, I'm dead. And he falls off the map, the flag is returned, and Magic oh! Stick plants one. Well, Kevin, it lasted forever. It wasn't pretty, but Unreal Tournament 2003 once again in the hands of Minority. That's right, Lee, and once again, Magic Stick and Cool Spot able to step it up deep in overtime. That's what got him the win. And Magic Stick, that last flag capture, is with Stacy right now. Thanks, Lee. I'm with Magic Stick, who managed to pull off a win for his team in the last moment. How'd you do it? It was incredible. It was long. Last two rounds we went on OT. It was, it was painfully long. I just got the flag, had my buddies next to me, we capped the flag. After all that play, are you feeling optimistic heading into America's really Army? Good. I seriously thought we were going to lose, but looking good so far. That's the word from here. Lee, back to you. Now don't get too excited just yet there, Mr. Magic Stick. Now, Minority keeps the shutout streak alive in Unreal Tournament 2003, although that was their toughest battle so far. But 
Team Kaizen isn't throwing in the towel just yet. And we'll see what happens in America's Army Special Forces coming up next, right here on Arena. Zerk's premieres tomorrow, starting at the 5, East and 2 Pacific. Welcome back, everyone, to Arena. Now, before the break, Team Minority survived a marathon session in UT 2003 with, as Mike Tyson would say, an impetuous style and an impregnable defense. But there's still one more round to go, so let's check in with Sergeant Hansen for the briefing on America's Army Special Forces. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Sergeant First Class Hansen, and this is your brief for the rescue mission. The enemy conducted an ambush this morning. They injured one of the key leaders of the resistance. That resistance leader was able to escape and went to a neutral hospital in order to get treatment. Your mission is to infill into this area, proceed to the hospital where you can enter through the lower or upper levels or through the garage and make contact with the resistance leader. You are then to escort him out of the building to the helipad where you'll be exfilled. You must ensure that you do not injure any civilians or any staff in the hospital. Are there any questions? No, sir. sir. Good luck. Team Minority was chosen to go first and the team is suiting up right now. And once these virtual soldiers are ready, they'll have 10 minutes to complete the mission. Now our players will be immersed in the ultra-realistic environment of America's Army Special Forces through the use of Atlantis Cyberspace's VR pods. Well, it looks like Team Minority is in position, so let's see how they do. And first up is Team Minority here in America's Army. Cool spot, a familiar site as captain. I got behind you. Alex, go ahead. I have a feeling that their experience in the pods might help them pull this one out, Lee. Their objectives are to extract the VIP to the helipad, minimize casualties. Most importantly for this team, Lee, as we've seen in the past, minimize team kills. Go I'm shooting. Out. Excellent teamwork right off the bat as Magic Stick taking some pot shots on an enemy. We've got cool spot behind a truck as a team makes their way outside. But it looks like two members of Team Minority get taken out early here. They were standing out in the open. Oh, this is bullshit. They're down to two. Wild Arms and Cool Spot. And now Minority will have to adapt on the fly as they have before Lee. As Wild Arms goes behind Cool Spot, who is actively mowing down a member of the opposing force. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Excellent communication between Wild Arms and Cool Spot at all times as Cool Spot clears the way. They have just entered the hospital, Lee. Wild Arms and Cool Spot in tandem. And sometimes, as we've seen here, it's almost easier to travel as a team of two than it is as a team of four. Cool Spot peeks out from behind a corner, did not notice the enemy to his left. <laughs> But he spots him now and opens up fire. Did you get him? I don't know yet. Cool Spot enters a room and within seconds takes out a member of the opposing force. Wild Arms joins him around that corner. They are now moving in tandemly. Having played this map before, they know exactly where the VIP is and they've met up with him. And now this group of three, Cool Spot, the VIP, Wild Arms. Oh, and poor strategy on the part of Cool Spot and Wild Arms. Whoa, what the f where, 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 where? They walk right by an open door and do not manage to peek around the corner. And Wild Arm pays dearly for that mistake. Cool Spot's on his own. Oh, and it looks like Cool Spot eliminates the VIP. Rule number one, don't shoot the guy you came for, you dumbass. And for our reigning champion minority, the wheels came off right from the beginning in America's Army. That's right, Lee. They started things off with a team kill and then followed up by killing the VIP. Let's see if Team Kaizen fares any better. And Kaizen up here at America's Army. And Kevin, with the bar being so low, what an opportunity here for Team Kaizen attempting to Enter the hospital, rescue the VIP, get to the helipad. Slow down, Buzz, slow down, slow down. They're communicating fairly well. However, one major mistake could be that they are not sticking together as a group, Lee. It's not easy to come in here as a newcomer. But so far, Lee, these guys are doing an excellent job. And they're using the pillars for cover. Excellent strategy. Outphase is making excellent use of the VR pods, Lee. He's leaning physically, which is causing his character to peek out in the virtual world. And that gives him a well-covered bead on the bad guy. Yeah, I'll throw a nade. Where at? A little bit cautious so far. Team Kaizen chucks a frag grenade into the fray, and it explodes, taking out a member of the opposing force. Matt goes on the run, mowing down another member of the op force, and he makes his way into the entrance of the hospital. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. All four members of Team Kaizen are now in the building. And look at Outphase, staying behind, making sure no one sneaks up on these guys. I saw him, I got him pinned down. And Max spots an enemy in the doorway, alerts his teammates who come right away to his side. I believe they have adapted incredibly quickly to America's Army and the VR pods. Fantastic job so far here by Team Kaizen. And a firefight going on in a crowded hallway. And Outphase goes down at the hands of a bad guy, our first casualty for Team Kaizen, but the VIP is within reach. Get the VIP out, watch that door where he went. Mac gets up as the VIP exits the room. The yeah. VIP is firmly in hand now for Team Kaizen. I think they loosen their grip a little bit. Mac, Ringworm, Eska, 
Now attempt to find the helipad. All right, everyone come this way. Go ahead at the front. And Ringworm spots an enemy, alerts his teammates right away as he strafes around that corner and opens fire on a member of the op force. The garbage you got behind us, man. And down goes Mac. And they are making their way to the helipad, Lee, but I have a feeling that more bad guys still remain despite an excellent showing. Eska is out in wide open territory right now, Lee, and he spots a remaining member of the opposing force, takes him down, and now Ringworm is at the helipad as well. They're trying to bring the VIP into the garage, and it looks like they have completed their objective here, Lee. Wow, so in what might have been beginner's luck, Team Kaizen rescued the VIP and won the round. And at Unreal Tournament 2003, two evenly matched teams went into overtime in two out of three rounds with Minority finally pulling it out. Which is exactly what happened in our console game too as Minority had to go down to sudden death to win, but Kaizen, in the end, they picked up the bonus point for the highest cumulative team score. It came down to the MVP to decide today's winner. And clinching it with his performance in America's Army Special Forces and helping his team to pull off an upset of epic proportions is... Eska of Team Kaizen! Let's go to Stacy with our new champions! Thanks, Lee. I'm down here with our new winning team and new MVP, Eska. How's it feel to knock the reigning champs off the throne? Pretty good. We pwned them in the face. We gave them some facials at UT. Knocked them out at America's Army. We took them out. Now, you guys did a fantastic job. It was your first time. You're the rookie team. Do you have any advice for the team that's come in to compete against you next? They better practice. You heard it here first. We'll see how they do next time. Lee, back to you. Congratulations, men. Having won this truly monumental battle, we'll just have to wait until next time to see if you can defend your title as the newest arena champions. For Kevin Pereira, Stacey Barcelona, I'm Lee Rabin. We'll see you next time on Arena. Well, now that you've seen the competition, we want to see if you've got the stuff of champions. So if you're at least 18 years of age and live in or near the Los Angeles area, then throw your hat into the ring by going to our website. Visit us at g4tv.com slash arena and sign up to compete on the show that turns multiplayer video games into a competitive sport. And we will see you in the arena.